y equals mx plus b is usually known as slope intercept form for a straight line equation, although sometimes it is referred to as standard form. y equals mx plus b uses m as a variable to signify the slope and b as a variable to signify the y-intercept. But again, in some locations, different variables are used. Refer to your text or teacher. This form of the equation can always be used to find the slope and the y-intercept. But this will only work if the y is isolated to the left of the equal sign. In the first equation, the y is already isolated to the left of the equal sign. The m, in this case, is the 3. So the slope of this straight line is 3. The b is the constant term with its sign. So because we have minus 2, the y-intercept for this straight line is going to be negative 2. In the second equation, y is not isolated yet because it has a 2 with it. But if I divide all terms in the equation by 2, I can turn this equation into y equals negative 2x plus 3 halves. And now I can read out my slope and my y-intercept. The slope is equal to negative 2, and the y-intercept is 3 halves. In the third example, x equals 4, we have a vertical line. And we can't express this equation in y equals mx plus b form because we don't have a y to isolate. But using theory, we realize that vertical lines always have undefined slope. And the y-intercept is going to be none. Because a vertical line is parallel to the y-axis, it will not cross the y-axis, so there will be no y-intercept. In this next example, we have a horizontal line. The equation has y's but no x's, but we can still use the y equals mx plus b form to find the slope and y-intercept of this line. Doing some algebra, I move the 3y to the left of the equals. I end up with 5y minus 3y equals 7. 5y minus 3y, of course, is 2y. Now I have 2y equals 7. If I divide both sides by 2, my y is isolated. There is no x term, but I can write 0x, and then I have 7 halves, so I write plus 7 halves. My slope is 0, which is expected because it is a horizontal line, and my y-intercept is 7 halves. In this last example, there's a little bit more algebra to do. I want my y isolated to the left of the equals, so I move the negative y from the right to the left of the equals, and I have positive y. I want my x to the right of the equals. It's 2x over on the left, so it will become negative 2x on the right. The minus 5 halves stays on the right, and the minus 3 halves moves to the right and becomes plus 3 halves. This simplifies to give me y equals negative 2x minus 1. So my slope is negative 2, and my y-intercept is negative 1. This is how we use slope-intercept form, or y equals mx plus b, to find the slope and y-intercept of straight-line equations.